Hi James, thanks for talking to us on Pontic Coles TV. Welcome to the Coles. Yeah, cheers, yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, played on, uh, yeah it was alright, I played on Tuesday night. Enjoyed the game, don't think we should have got beat, but sometimes happens like that. A baptism of fire to you on Tuesday night? Nah, it was good, you know, like I spoke to Paz before about the style of playing, you know, it was it was quite obvious we were, we were attacking attacking football and, you know, we probably could have had it wrapped up in the first half, but sometimes the game go like that and we end up on the wrong end of the uh, scoreline. So tell, tell the Coles fans out there, what, what what are you and what do you bring to the Coles? Yeah, number one thing, energy, just up and down all game, non-stop, um, carry the ball well, uh, like to pose an attacking threat, so I'd probably say that's my, my main thing, yeah. Craig said to me on the phone the other day that you were a number 10 stroke centre midfielder, Is that, does that hang right? Yeah, I uh, played on the wing when I was a little bit younger, um, and then as I've gone on I've, I've played more of my games in central midfield, and like, yeah, I like to play in the 10, I like to get on the ball and, and do what I can. So you've been playing at Grantham for what, the duration of this season and last season, is that correct? Uh, from the start of the season, actually. Uh, started last season at Kidderminster. Um, ended up at Mickelover at the end of last year. Signed for Grantham at the beginning of this. So I played all the games there and then just ended up here. So is it, is, uh, if you mind asking, what happened at Grantham? Is it... No, no, it was... Uh, I've played nearly every minute of every game so far, but what, a bit of a, I fancy a bit of a change. And, Actually, spoke to Paz and it sounds like he's playing his style of football that I want to play and that, that sounds good for me. So you've got a bit of a different, um, you used a bit of a different, what should I say, stadium at Grantham compared to uh, down here at the Football Family Stadium. What's your first impression yeah. of the Football Family Stadium? Yeah, it looks alright. So it's a grass pitch in it at the end of the day. They're all, they're all the same, aren't they? You know, like Grantham's very open. Um, but once you get out there, you, you don't really notice, to be honest. It could be, could be anywhere. So Kidderminster, what division were you? Kidderminster? They were in North, Conference North. Um, How do you find that level? Yeah, I, it was okay. Um, I played a lot of games in the league, so I thought that you know, Kidderminster being full time, I thought that could be a bit of a um, stepping stone back into league for me. Didn't work out that way, but move on and keep going. So we're, we're two levels down now, but hopefully progression this season. You can see uh, positive signs at the Coles, and ideally open to play Premier. Well, Bet Victor. Well, no, we're not so I'll say Bet Victor. So I won't say Bet Victor anymore. I'll say um, Northern Premier League, Premier League. Yeah, cool. well, we're in, we're in a great position. I think we've got to take it one game at a time and keep keep progressing up the league and just just keep doing well and see where it takes us. You don't want to look too far ahead of and just just one game at a time. Is there any lads that you know knew here before? Uh, I know Joe Lumsden um, in the youth team together at Leeds, um, so I've known him for quite a while actually. But other than that, nah, nah. What do you do at Leeds? What level do you get to Leeds? Uh, got released at the end of my youth team. Which week? Uh, what year was that? Uh, 2011. Yeah, 2011. I think I left Leeds and then. Managed to sign a sign a one year pro at Doncaster after that, so it worked out all right. You do it all right, Doncaster. You play? You managed to get yeah, for, yeah. I played three games in the first team that season. Um, I ended up going alone to Hereford when they got relegated from League Two, um, and then from there went went on to Warsaw. So you got a different, a lot of different football teams. You played for a lot of different styles, a lot of different managers, and is it is there a is there a certain style you prefer to play? You know, it, from from everything you've done. Yeah, I, I just I just think the way the the way the leagues are set up, it's, you have to adapt to everything. You can't you can't just say yeah, we're out and out football team. They don't exist. Uh, I don't think the long ball route one exists anymore. And you've just got to adapt to the game. And as, as you different leagues, different guess with different games. So, different styles of so we'll go back to the run call match. What what was that like personally for you? Did you do you feel you did all right on, on your debut? Were you were you, were you, were you sharp match threatness wise? Hey, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, did all right. Yeah, did all right. Uh, got on the ball first half. Like I say, first half really, really involved, um, causing a bit, causing a big threat. And then second half, feel like they dropped off. Didn't allow me as much space um, as first half. And like I say, their goals kind of took the game away from us, which was frustrating. But you know, we showed we showed signs that we put a couple of chances away in the first half. We'd have been out of sight. Do you know a lot about this division? Team-wise? Uh, no, not no. I'll be honest, no, not so much. Yeah. That's all right. No, so I just, you know, Trafford have got a. A guy playing from, I think he's 17 years old. He's right, yeah. got a hat full of goals already this season. Oh, good, yeah. Massive threat for them, you know. And yeah. it's, uh, it's always tough when you come up against a striker. But when you're at the other end and you can't maybe do anything about it. Well, you've got to hope that our lads do the business, haven't they? Just like I'm, I'm sure they're looking forward to us lads up front thinking, go on, stick the ball in the net for us. So. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to us. Good luck. Cheers, Paul.